what the hell was me thinking? Dirty tears and I'm sinking. Cause we ain't Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So you can keep coming back and getting all the love that you need from me and more. Y'all, whoo, today has been a day. Today has drained me, okay? Like, drained. Okay, drain me. Woo, 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 woo. I'm off of work. Um, and I took off today and tomorrow because my line sister is getting married. Yay! Um, so I'm actually headed to Norfolk, well, not Norfolk, I'm headed to Virginia Beach. I always say Norfolk when I have to travel to this area, and I think that's because I went to college in this area. Um, and when I moved back in 2019 to that area I was working in Norfolk and then I was living in Portsmouth but then I ended up moving to Norfolk um, and I just moved back to North Carolina last summer of um, 2022 my plan is to come back to North Carolina on I'm so, I would love to know why my airpods keep doing this um, anyways I'm coming back to North Carolina on Saturday because Sunday is Mother's Day. And even though we don't have like major plans, like even if I'm just sitting at my mama's house and it's just me and her, um, and if my siblings come by, you know, whatever the case may be, and we just all chilling, cool. Cause I already gave her her gift. Um, she wanted something, so I surprised her with it and shipped it to her. So she already received it. But um, still it's Mother's Day and I wanna like be with my mom. I remember one year um, I had to work. This is when I was working for Norfolk Department of um, Human Services as a supervisor in CPS. And I was on call that weekend. And luckily, someone covered for me. I was still on call. So I was still like taking the calls, like if, if if a call came in and a worker had to call me to staff the case to determine what we needed to do, then um, I was still doing that. But if like if there was a true emergency where I needed to be back up for that worker and go out with that worker or go out for that worker, I wasn't going to be able to do that. Um, because when you're on call, you should be within, I don't know, I would say you, you need to be within like 30, 45 minutes from the area that you're on call for or whatever especially within with cps but i don't know i don't know what the stipulation is around that but anyways so my mentor was able to cover me and i was able to drive home and i didn't tell my mom and she was so sad because she thought that i wasn't going to come home and so i get there and when i got there she wasn't home um she was getting ready she was like pulling up in like two minutes like right after me and that was just by coincidence. So I'm standing outside and when I when she pulled in, her face was like, oh my gosh, you're here. And she was so emotional. And I'm like, yeah, I made it. I don't know why. But anyways, I'm about to go listen to The Read. Does anybody else listen to The Read podcast? I love Crystal and Kid Fury. Um, I know that they were going on a... Um, their tour that they typically do but they pulled it back and decided not to do it through um due to kid fury's mental health and i know that they have been talking about their mental health for years now on the show promoting you know the benefits of therapy the benefits of having a psychiatrist and, and taking medication if needed you know um which i really appreciate them for always being so willing to be open with their audience and share that because it's a hard thing to share. It's a really hard thing to share. So I'm excited to go and listen to that as I continue this drive. And I'm gonna check in with y'all. I don't know if it'll be tonight or tomorrow, but I'm gonna check in. Hi loves, it's been a minute since I checked back in. Your girl has had an eventful evening. It's been a lot going on. Life can be busy, um, and it can definitely hit you in a lot of different ways when you are 
working on goals and just trying to be better in life, you know, like seems like the devil will start working and he gets busy and he tries to destroy and attack you and um, get up here in your mind and can make you think like, I shouldn't be doing this. This isn't for me. Mm -mm. All right, loves, now I need a shower. I got food in this bag. I ain't ate it. I know them fries cold and ain't nothing wrong with that because you know what? I don't need them fries anyways. But yeah, I'm about to shower and I need to have some prayer time. And I got a video I need to edit too. So, and it's like 12 o'clock, it's, it's midnight. Hey loves, oh, it's the next day. Your girl is getting up. I didn't bring like cute, like close with me or a robe like i bought like really chill i'm be at my brother's house because that's where i was supposed to be staying type of clothes so beat up t-shirt and some pajama pants that don't go with it you know just whatever and then i have these um let me see if i can show y'all i have these y'all see them <laughs> right here that i use every time i travel my mom gave them to me and i was like oh those are going to be like my traveling like bedroom shoes. Does anyone else call them bedroom shoes or is that just us country folks? House slippers, slippers. We call them bedroom shoes. <laughs> Honey. And I don't know how many people do that. I'm going to be honest with you. I just know that saying it out loud now to you all, it sounded really country. I never thought about it before, but I don't care. That's me. Anyway, for some reason, I really haven't been into watching like regular degla like tv on the regular like it's not like a oh my gosh i gotta watch my show tonight don't get me wrong there's several shows that i really really like um oh gosh i walked in here without myself um like abbott elementary love abbott elementary who else do i love abbott elementary I can't even think right now. But at one point, I was like, nah, I'm going to watch my show. I can't miss my show. I get that. I can watch it later. No. Like, I was on it hard. Power hard. Um, let's see. What else? Um, the Resident. I love The Resident. Grey's Anatomy. It's several shows out there that was just super popular that I was definitely on. Now I'm in a point of life where I just, I don't know. I just don't be into it like that. Am I the only one? Maybe. Um, because I watched the first season of Power 2, right? Um, Tariq's um, series. Never seen Tommy's. Um, who else am I missing? There, there's been like several, haven't there? Oh, Kane's. I've never watched any of those stories. Um... I've never even watched BMF. So I'm like, we would go for the one. Um, when it comes to like, the one that just ended, oh gosh, what's um Snowfall? I I've always been off and on with Snowfall. I liked it. I liked it a lot, but I was just always on and off with it. And I don't know what got me that way. I don't know what happened because even with the last season of Insecure, now Insecure was a show I could not miss. Insecure Girls, oh gosh, love those shows. But anyways, even with Insecure that last season, y'all, I remember watching the first episode and I don't think I went back until the show was over. I watched all the rest of the episodes, but I still to this day, I have not watched the last episode, the season, um, the series finale. Never watched it because I mean, one, I already know what happened, but Honestly, that don't bother me. Now, I am that person that will ask you, like, girl, what happened? And still watch it. But I don't know. I just wasn't like, yeah, I need to watch it. 
Yeah. And to this day, I still don't feel like it. Yeah. But yeah. I will yeah. be in my room yeah. all day yeah. listening to yeah. Stephanie Sue, yeah. watching Kim yeah. Ty's yeah. vlogs. Yeah. Um, yeah. What's yeah. old girl? Yeah. Mal Hire. I love Mal Hire for yeah. their yeah. true yeah. crimes. Yeah. Um, and then I also like to watch The Wife. I can't think of her name right now. Love to watch her solo true crime stories. Um, Kendall. Kendall. That's her name. Um, I love to watch her and her cousin for The Sesh. The Sesh? The Sesh. Yeah, The Sesh. Um, I love watching Van Life stuff, even though I haven't watched that in a long time. I don't know. I feel like van life kind of went down after the pandemic. Like, I was loving it before the pandemic. The pandemic happened. A lot of them shut down living like regular van life. A lot of them went and bought cabins and did all of that. And yeah, then I just kind of got out of it. And y'all, Queen Charlotte. That has to be, and I know that they separated Bridgerton out from Queen Charlotte because, like, if you go and watch it, they're not on the same undertitle, right? Like, if you go to Bridgerton, you're not going to find the Queen Charlotte um, episodes there. But that thing is good. Oh, my gosh. At the end, when they got back underneath the bed, if it's a spoiler alert, my bad. When she got underneath the bed with him and she, he said, you didn't go over the wall. She said, no, I didn't. Trust me. It did something to my heart. And it's so funny because in the other two series, I just knew Queen Charlotte was a B-I-T-C-H. You couldn't tell me nothing different. And I ain't even trying to say like she ain't, but now like you understand her better. You understand her grind. You understand the hustle. You understand everything she had to fight for as a black queen who was in love with this, this white mad king um as they try to call it you know just because he struggled with mental health but the way that she fought for their love the way that she accepted him my gosh it, it's beautiful if you have not watched it you need to go watch it sorry if there was any spoiler alerts but baby that thing was good okay i'm tripping because i'm up here talking to y'all i was just been coming out here to get something real quick to go and show y'all the bride before it gets busy because once the food comes out we're not gonna be able to do all of that so yeah i may do that i'm also having this cocktail for the cocktails um 
I may need to go find like a rich hotel to go sit at the bar so I can meet somebody. You know, sometimes. Yes, and they need them. Hey loves, happy Saturday. Your girl is up and trying to get out of this hotel room, honey. So now I gotta do, a, well, I don't have to, but I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup because I'm thinking about going to Sephora. Um, and so, yeah, I might be recording while I'm in there. Y'all, I have gotten these new tops. I have this one and a, the pink one that I was wearing on Friday. Oh my gosh, they're so comfortable. They're so comfortable and like the crotch area, maybe, well, this one, I probably could have did a size down is what I'm thinking. Just from like the gappy, this right in there. You know what I mean? Um, the pink one fits like a glove to me, but in the seated area where you have to snap the onesie, they're not too tight. You get what I'm saying? Like it's comfortable when you sit down, you're not feeling like it's yanking you like a thong in a bad way i like it i like it a lot hey loves finally made it out the hotel now i'm at target i don't need to look in that baby section because i've been buying my niece hella clothes okay my great niece i think i have the same spell as my mama what we love to buy baby clothes but i came by target to get my niece a gift and my nephews um i haven't seen them Mm, did I see them? Yeah, I did see them homecoming and stuff like that. But, you know, I don't live here no more. So, I wanted to get them something. This line is long. Oh, wow. Hold on. The line in Target is crazy. I know it's Mother's Day. Everybody in here trying to get their mama something. I asked the guy in front of me was um, that the line for self-checkout. So, he went to go check for him and I. And it's not. So... Your girl gonna do stuff check out today because that line is ridiculous. Um, it's crazy. Ain't nobody else going for that. I need to grab me. No, I don't. I was about to say I need to grab some Starbies, but I don't. Oh my gosh. There is a photo in Target, like a model photo um, for the swimsuits. And it's a beautiful, plus size, like looks like a real body plus size woman. Let me show y'all, cause I think it's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, isn't she gorgeous? Like that's so realistic. I love the fact that they did that. Like Target be doing their thing. This is why they know what to do to keep us coming. But yeah, so my niece recently, she participated in um, a talent show. And she also, it was Friday night, this past Friday, um, they went to the Chrysler Center here in Norfolk, Virginia, because she had art showcased at the Chrysler Center. No, that was Thursday night, my bad. She had art showcased at the Chrysler Center um, where, you know, it has their name underneath it. I thought that was the coolest thing ever. I'm like, okay, I see y'all. It was gorgeous. So I wanted to come and get her a gift to celebrate her and then just also pick up my nephew something. I got them something similar. Um, just gotta figure out which one wants what, which one wants what, cause I hate when the kids start fussing, you know? But I both got them this. This is one of them, I don't know who this is. Captain America, Captain America, Sam Wilson, okay. Um, I am not that girl, like I watch Marvel movies, but I don't know everything about Marvel movies. Then I also picked up this one. I know that my brother and his wife they love Marvel movies and their kids do too. And then for my niece, I thought this was so cool. This is the watercolor brush um, pens. I figured she would love that. Help her with her art. And then I grabbed this, but we're gonna check the price of it first. Cause if it's too high, it's staying at Target. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, wow. $3. We love to see it. All right. Let me check out. Hey loves, just left my brother's house. Sorry, I didn't feel like vlogging there because I hadn't seen my brother. So 
just wanted to hang out with him and my sister, his wife, and two of um, our friends that came over to see me before I got on the road to head back to North Carolina. But actually, I am at MacArthur Mall now in Norfolk. I am going to go to their Sephora, which is the Sephora I used to go to all the time. Um, and I know they carry K-Skin at this one, but actually, I'm going to also do a video um, of me just picking up a couple of items. I'm planning to go ahead and get some travel size items. So, yeah, I'm here <laughs> and I'm gonna do that. And then we're gonna stop somewhere and get something to eat because I haven't ate nothing today. I haven't really had an appetite. I don't know. But I'm gonna grab something and then get on the road. No, we ain't got